In this episode, I'm going to discuss images and how if they are worth a thousand words, they might be too much for your learners to handle. I'm going to place the resources in the links below the video. One of the biggest challenges in e-learning is to express information visually. From the studies that we'll see by Jacob Nielsen, why users scan instead of read, users still read their screens 20% slower on their PC than they would from a book. And I am focusing on the PC because I think focusing on mobile still is a luxury for the learners, you know, for us to think that the learners are accessing it there. Their readability statistics for things like iPad and Kindle are higher, but when I walk into most corporate offices, I see people using old computers. They're not walking around with their iPads doing stuff. So uh, that's kind of my focus. And I'm thinking that if we focus on making the PC experience super, super cool and engaging and visual for learners when it fits, then when we're translating that into a mobile platform, that's going to be that much more better. E-learning and the science of instruction has a whole section and a matrix on how to select effective visuals for learning. I always uh, go back to this resource because it's a good inventory of the kinds of visuals that you can use uh, to take concepts further. It also touches on a very important point, which I think a lot of us miss. When we are dealing with novice learners, we might be using images that might be giving them a little bit too much information especially when somebody is a novice learner, they really don't know what they don't know, so what they're doing is they're focusing on everything at the same time, and we're not distilling the message or the concept enough for them, especially in the very beginning where it matters. Recently I started reading this book by Francis Glebus. It's interesting because he he's a, an animator, and what he's done is developed, it's basically about the development of storyboards. And I thought it was very interesting how some of the concepts in there uh, should really be applied to a lot of our e-learning modules, especially the concept of distilling ideas for novice learners. He, he really talks about taking an image and distilling it, it down to that one concept before you move on to the next bigger concept. Because what happens is with novices is they might actually miss the action. And if your your images are not supporting those concepts, those ideas, then they add no value. They actually distract your learners from focusing on what's important. So when we're selecting our images or our process flows or our concept maps, that we don't overload our, our learners cognitively by providing them with so much information that we assume that they know, but to take certain concepts and uh, introduce them in a sequence or data and how it's being, I guess, put together uh, in small chunks before they see the, the whole concept. And you might not want to break it down for every novice, you know, course every single time like that. It has to fit. Uh, you don't want to make it so simple that they're just bored because you're not challenging them. But what you want to do is to make sure that nobody leaves your course confused about the, the purpose of your images and basically what you want to be able to do is take away your text and make sure that whatever concept you're trying to relay with let's say your narration that that image enhances that concept and takes the learning further number one make sure you're choosing images that support your learning number two make sure that you're distilling your images to one idea when it fits number three Novice learners will benefit more when you have images that relay the processes in your learning. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up and share it with your colleagues. Also, this is a two-way conversation, I hope. So if you'd like, please provide your comments and feedback in the comments below. And if you have any suggestions for future videos, I'd love to hear them. And also be sure to check out my previous videos on some other relevant topics. And I hope you have an excellent day. Take care.